Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share. Everything you do does help the channel. And if you want to help out a little more, you can head over to my Patreon, try to get yourself a mug, a sticker, or even a tote bag. The link will be in the description. Hey everybody, how you doing? I got a highly requested video coming for you today. I thought I'd take the time to make this video. Uh, everything kind of just happened the right way. I had all the pieces and parts I need. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this now. I have this 19 set, uh, 1950s uh, Zippo insert. It's a Bradford USA 50s insert. I got this from Jeremy or other known as uh, Zippo Daily Fix. He has a YouTube channel and he posts a Zippo every day of his collection. Just a quick little video and some interesting facts about it. I absolutely just love these shorts that he does. And uh, he sent me a box of Zippos. You've probably already seen the video, mystery box, a huge box of Zippos. Uh, this was in there. It had no flywheel. It has no screw in for the bottom. And it was missing a complete cam spring. Uh, it did have a rivet in it, though. That was still in there. The cam spring was snapped off. Uh, I had to take the rivet out. And so I wanted to show you how to fix a cam spring. I have all the pieces right here before you. And I'm going to show you how I did this. And I'm going to take you through high detail how you're going to do it and how you're going to fix this. Uh, so, like I said, I had to remove the rivet. And then I had to take... I had a scrap insert from Brian Quilty uh, he gave to me. I decided to use it all for parts. So all the parts here I got from there. But I needed a spring. I needed a cam spring from them, from that insert too, right? So I have the cam spring, but I had to take it out. Now, the whole reason for this video is I want to show you how to pull the rivet out that holds the cam spring in. Okay, I want to show you how you can take it out and reuse it because like say say you need to change your cam spring and you don't have another rivet you don't you can't get this rivet from anywhere so i'm going to take you through the steps on what you got to do uh the rivet has to come out through the bottom uh well no it comes like it pulls out through the top but i mean the work you have to do is in the bottom oh i should have another insert handy for this to show you okay so see at the bottom of this insert See how that lip is around the bottom? That lip is what's holding your cam spring in, see? Now see how the top is way too wide? How the lip around that is way too wide? You're never going to pull that through, right? So, And then see how it's small here on the bottom? So you just got to crimp that a little bit with a, screw, a flathead screwdriver, a small one like this one. You just got to go in there. I'm trying to get it on film here for you. I did this all off camera, but just to show you how I did it. So you go in there and you just keep rolling that lip. You just got to gently do it and keep working at it. Uh, you can basically see it there. Almost had it in the light. There we go. So you just got to keep rolling that lip, rolling that lip all the way around like I'm doing here. I'm not actually doing it. I'm just showing you how I did it. I just rolled that lip all the way around and then boom, that whole rivet pulled right out. Uh, and then once I pulled the rivet out, I put it on this thumbtack so I can, it very easy to lose. I like keeping it on here, keeps it on. And I just crimped around and straightened it out. Uh, I did damage the top. When you do this, you won't damage the top. I was playing around with the top. I shouldn't have been. And that's why you see this damage here. When you do it the way I just showed you and just only go in through the bottom and just crimp the bottom and stick to only the bottom, the top's going to be fine. Uh, I damaged that trying to pull it out uh, too soon. But it's not a big deal because this is only going to hold it in anyways. And once you, once you, you could re, you're going to be reshaping this once it's back in anyways, right? You're going to be reshaping this. It's not going to be a big deal. So what you're going to do, and I did this all with just the tools here and I got a new flywheel for it too. So what you want to do is you want to slide it in. All right. Now, a lot of this, I'm probably going to have to do off camera guys, to be honest. I just don't have the the hands so I'm trying to slide it back right I'm trying to slide it back to the hole right into position so I can drop in my rivet all right now my rivet is right here see the holes basically lined up I just got to get it in one so what I will do is I will put it in my pliers so I can just place it in But you want to grab it from the right spot. I don't want to squeeze it and bend it either because it's brass. It's very delicate. 
and uh, I can already tell. I'm going to have to do this off camera. But anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'll bring you back to the next uh, segment in one second here, guys. All right, everybody. So after screwing around a bit, I realized that it's easier just to put the to drill out the cam and put it in because you're trying to put it you're trying to put it all in with spring pressure on it right so it, it just doesn't really work you gotta basically take it out now if you're good at working under spring tension then do it and go ahead uh for my purposes i cannot so how i figured out how to get it back in i'll show you what i did i took The easiest way for me to get it back in after I got the cam out is I took the nail and I put it in the rivet, right? And then so I just fed it through that way. That was the easiest way to get the spring back in. And then if we look at the bottom, you could see I mushroomed out the rivet again, just like it was. And I'm going to keep playing with it. I have to get a punch. Uh, you will notice that the spring is a little loose. You can see. But when you do this, don't be afraid that the spring is a little loose because you got some punching to do. You need to get like a metal punch and you need to have a piece of metal on the bottom of this too, supporting it, right? So you have to have a piece of metal in the bottom. Uh, what I used was a, was a drill bit inside of a vise. Uh, well, sorry, I didn't use it yet. I'm going to go use that. I put a drill bit, The flat, you know there's a flat end on the drill bit. I put a drill bit in the vise and I put that on the top. And then I'm going to put this on top of that and I'm going to grab my punch and I'm going to work that and I'm going to round it out. You can see it's already pretty good. Like I said, I didn't really ruin the top. Uh, you could fit a wick through there, no problem. And well, like I said, all you got to do now is to tighten this spring up. You'll get it nice and tight. You'll see how tight I got it. Uh, you just got to keep punching it. You just got to keep pressing that metal until it's tight. That's all. And it's not going to be perfectly tight. It doesn't need to be because once the spring is holding it under tension, it's not, uh, once the cam's in here holding the spring under tension, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be tight and it's going to work great and it's going to work. It's going to have longevity and it's going to be just fine. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll get cut right. Back. All right, everybody. So as you can see, I totally fixed this. I took my punch. I pounded it in nice and smooth. I pounded it in a little better down there. You can see uh, you push from the top and push as much as you can into the hole, right? So then when you mushroom the bottom, you have as much material to use left over afterwards. Uh, you can see a wick will totally fit through that. And I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, the cam is completely, you can hear the knock on that thing. It's it's uh, it's completely fixed and tight. I had it in a zippo. It was working fine, but we'll, we'll see all that. Uh, now it's just time to put in some spare parts. Uh, so this comes from a different lighter all together all these parts came from a different brand lighter but luckily they're all swappable for they're all swappable for a zippo all right so we put this in we don't have to worry about this because this is going to be under pressure so we'll put a flint in and i like doing this because now if someone else does this or uh, maybe i would give this away or something like that uh you can completely change your wheel now anytime you want. You don't have to change rivets or do anything like that because it just sits in there under pressure. It's not going anywhere, guys. Look, there's no bolt on the other side of that, but it's it's not going anywhere. It's held in under pressure. I just got a toy. It is now. And that's a completely restored 1950s original Zippo insert. I uh, totally redid the cam spring on there. Very easy. I did it with no power tools. I did it with no rivet tool. I did it with no special tools. I reused the same rivet I pulled out. Like I said, all you got to do, going through the bottom, fold the flaps, pull it out this end, put it all back in, and then remember, push the top in first. Make sure as much material comes out the bottom. Mushroom that bottom. And then uh, reapply everything, and you got a fully working, restored insert. Uh, everyone said this insert was ready for garbage. Uh, that's why Jeremy even threw it out. Uh, this is a 1950s, man. Like, this isn't worth throwing out in the garbage. Flat stock, 1950s. I'm going to put this in the ultrasonic cleaner. This is going to look brand new. You're not even going to tell. Uh, and that was a perfect insert restoration. And that's how you fix a cam spring, and that's how you replace a cam spring. And all you need is a small flathead screwdriver, a little pair of needle nose pliers, and a uh, thumbtack, and a nail. That's all I really used. That's all I used for all of this. And got a completely uh, insert that wasn't working at all. Got it completely working again. All right, so I threw this in my uh, Wolf Edge Zippo real quick. I didn't put fluid or cotton in it. I just wanted to show you uh, the wick does fit through fine. And this thing wants to throw that thing open, man. It's crazy how it does that. It's just like 
that just wants to throw it open and it's hard to close. So I just wanted to show you, camp spring is fixed fine. Everything is working great. Everything is looking good. And uh, absolutely, I absolutely love this hack. I love this. Fix. Everyone, take care. See you in the next one. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, I have lots of other videos on my channel that are useful too. I do all sorts of videos like this. So take care. See you in the next one. See you on the live stream for the next giveaway. Everyone have a good week.